Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. And welcome to Harley Designs. 75 episodes. It's the uh, 75th Jubilee. <laughs> Tell We're, us where you're watching from and what kind of present you would give for a 75th anniversary. It, yeah, I mean, and I'm not sure which one it is yet. I feel like it's the <laughs> styrene anniversary. <laughs> Hopefully it's not wood. <laughs> I don't yeah. want that from any of you people. I was gonna say that's gonna it's gonna get real, real awkward, real, real fast. <laughs> you mean more so than it already is. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, another week, another <laughs> another budget that somebody rudely doesn't know how to count or stay within the oh. I just happen to have this servo horn here for an SCX-24. Just happened to be here. So I believe I found out where it came from. A main hobbies. Nope. The link is in the description. Nope. The Orlando Hunter. Hmm. Um, I believe that it was in that. Uh, and it just happened to be here. Because I had no idea where else I would have possibly had that from. Um, regardless, I am well within... Because I purchased the long wheelbase link kit because even though those links are actually included with the trucks in the bag, um, but uh, I don't really keep it's like if that was attached to the manual, it's just it's just out what, the door. What you're actually saying is that if you had kept that stuff, it would have been free and, and not been dumb. Yes, I would have saved $12. <laughs> those parts would have been free. Yes. $12. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were included in there because for one, I don't do the, I don't. How many, how many of these have you opened? Uh, how many have you opened now? Five? Five. Yeah, exactly. I had. You I should had know by now. What comes two Bettys, two deadbolts, and that C10. I'm thoroughly disappointed in you. Yeah. I, it's just, it open the box. I take the radio out. I take the car out and everything else goes in the trash. That's just so, you know, that, like, you know, that someone's like, you know, that stuff's included in the bag. I went, no kidding. <laughs> you know, that commercial like with the indigenous Indian man crying. I remember I mean, what that you know, row and all that stuff in the, I gosh. feel like that was more in your day than my. <laughs> It played in between the Dick Van Dyke show and Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> I only remember that as like seeing a parody of it from Wayne's World. Like, yes, I guess. <laughs> it's funny. I was talking to Rebecca about Wayne's World today because, you know, every time you or I hold up something or wear a shirt or whatever it's we always do you know it's like some people just do it because they're getting paid and that's just really sad for the record nobody paid me to wear this shirt i actually right. quite like this shirt actually we actually paid a lot of money for before i got this shirt and so not RC, oh, not well i mean rc related but not direct it's one of our machines if you spend the, it if you spend hundreds of thousands like, of dollars they will give you for a robot, then they will give you a t-shirt. Is that say Trinity? Yes. Trinity automation. Put, Cause you know, the Trinity made motors. Mm, good point. So technically. Thank you, you're Mike. Just hey, Matt and Josh, just friend. passing on the dough for the show. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you guys. Too much fun. Much appreciated. This show is too much fun. That's why we've only done it 75 times. 75 times. I was, yeah. That's it. Josh, that 30,000 milliamp, milliamp battery is going to make that truck squat. You know, I don't I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, it's not, God. It's not even that heavy. It's just, like. That thing is ridiculous. It, I mean, it's actually beyond ridiculous. Uh. For those that didn't see either the scale news update or the Instagram post, yes, this is my 30,000 milliamp 6S LiPo. 
success. I... <laughs> what what did you want that for again? <laughs> I haven't said specifically, but I think for this show we can go ahead. I mean, enough people obviously knew where it was going. This is for the TRX four thousand. <laughs> I was I was at Axial Fest and I was talking to the Gen Zace crew and I was just like, okay. Uh, the, you you might not know me, but I'm what is the biggest that. battery that you have that would fit under the body of the new Bronco? What is that for in reality though? Cinema drones. Oh cool. Like one you know, that carry it, the big is yeah. that an actual functioning battery? Yes. This it is an is actual not a, five it's not a novelty battery. This is an actual Five hundred and twelve dollar six S lipo, and what those those <laughs> drones would probably use like two of those at they, once, right? I'm guessing so. Because um, you gotta, the, I know how much cinema cameras weigh, mm-hmm. and I know how expensive they are too. Yes. So you would want to make sure that, and they're probably like uh, instead of a quad, it they're would be an octo, octo right? Yeah. Even if they're only four arms, they'd likely have uh, rotors. Top of my, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Josh hey. is upgrading his power chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Hello, power uh, wheels. Yes, that's. Uh, so what connector is on there? Is it a Dean's? Eight, uh, eight millimeter bullets. Oh boy! I'm gonna have to do some modification to make that work. It is. It's only a twenty five C, but at thirty amp hours at 25 C that's 750 amps of discharge. It's a lot. It's ridiculous. That's a crazy dumb battery. It is. Oh, that's a good question. Rob Sadler wants to know how long that would take to charge. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know that I'll ever have to charge it. (laughs) It probably comes half full and that's good enough. Good enough. (laughs) That's, that's fine. Lipo cut off in 12 hours. <laughs> it's, yeah. So Adam, uh, Adam Tevin said, I'll put a Tamiya plug on that bad boy. <laughs> just watch it. Just as you finish soldering, it just kind of goes. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I got, obviously that is not just going to fit into things. So uh, there's been some, there's been some cutting that's had to have happened. Um yeah. So actually, to gain the weight, you've had to lose some weight. A little bit. Agreed. Uh, I would like I would like you to know that this does weigh more than an RTR VS410 with aluminum wheels. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> That's uh, crazy. Br- uh, ready to run brushless VS410 with aluminum upgraded it- wheels. Way you know what you should do is you should once you power your TRX four thousand with that is daisy chain a bunch of cable out of it so you can power other people's the trucks. Other. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it convoy. <laughs> hey, rubber ducky. <laughs> Stabby Josh suggests. Uh, you need to charge that baby up and then center punch it with some tungsten core. Um, you remember when I when I when I said how much it cost? Um, yes. Did, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get this battery for free. Like now, she, oh, you did it. You paid for that battery. Oh, I had to buy this battery. Good uh, for you. Gen Zace may help me with some RC batteries. This they're like not that. Um, that's not like a. That's not like a regular RC battery. Like, <laughs> well, you're you're paying for that one, Wait, sir. If I, if I need some six dollar, you know, <laughs> SCX twenty four batteries, they'll be like, you know what, we got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's a five hundred and twenty dollar battery. Is that what five, you said? I think it was five hundred and twelve dollars. <laughs> Just think of what you could have bought. Oh, oh. listen, with as much br- once brass you've as I've already this... bought. I know this What's is that? not only the heaviest TRX four, it's the most expensive TRX four. <laughs> yeah. 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 Could be. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hello, Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I went to go pick up the TRX4 the other day just because, well, I had this that I had to start mocking up. And then I had some, some lifting. I had some more brass pieces that I needed. Um, <laughs> and I needed to install. And I just, I knew what I was installing them. I was like, this is my heavy Bronco. And I picked up the truck and went, oh, I went, oh God. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I forgot what the point my of back. this thing. <laughs> yeah and uh blue julie just said nah the guy with the 104 mile per hour six by six probably spend more <laughs> i'm still waiting for that guy to get some video i know he can't his kid can't post it his kids were in. Kid was... <laughs> like why was your kid standing so close to a 104 mile an hour six by six i'm very responsible of you sir <laughs> So, yeah, DK, think of the light bar you could power with that sucker. Just a regular 50-inch rigid. <laughs> Even that, that would be twice it'd be twice as much uh, voltage as that <laughs> would be ready for. Yeah, blow the lights. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do you have to do a pre-workout stretch before lifting it? Oh, my God, man. I just, every time, I'm just like, whew. <laughs> Enterprising thieves are already working out, getting How? ready They're, to steal not ready to steal my VS, my whatever the thing is called, TRX4 thousand. Get get him. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's good. Well, be I spent a better so part of today figuring out some problems with my latest PC build because, um, you know, I'm doing a hard line custom loop for Ooh, this one. You're you're and it's turning. I'm excited because I know what it looks like. Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. There's some pretty fun stuff happening, but there's a lot of challenges because I'm building a full ATX mother. I'm going to lose a bunch of people here, but it's an ATX motherboard in a mini style case that can accept a large motherboard. But I don't think really with the intention of doing all the stuff that I'm doing, because it's requiring a lot of, um, what's that term? Uh, force fitting. <laughs> so there's some challenging stuff going on, but I think it'll be fun when it's all done. Yes, and it, it, it very much will be. So that uh, that will be fun to, to see. You yeah. Know, yeah I'm looking, looking forward, forward to, to what, you, what you put together for that. Yeah. We, 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 didn't specifically, some... uh, we didn't specifically talk about the budget build yet. No, we could. We, we could definitely you, do that. You, you threw a slight jab out there, but that, you know, off duck off a, duck off a water's back. Yeah, because, you know, you're not affected by actual, um, you know, criticism. No, no, it doesn't affect me hardly at all. Um, but they're, the builds, it, they're both starting to take their own shape, as ridiculous as your <laughs> shape may be. It's, I can't even look at you when you hold that thing. It just, you know, they like they talk about like how dogs look like their owners. It's just... You think this looks like me? <laughs> When you flare your nostrils a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Quack RC, thanks for the two bucks. Hey man, <laughs> one tenth Baja Ray is epic. SCX24 looks awesome. I guess Quack RC got a one tenth Baja Ray. Excellent. There you go. Those are fun. Ben Ben, ben Jericho. Uh, when you're done with that awesome battery, you could easily sell it to the guys on the local airfield. We use big bats to, big bats to power up field chargers. Uh, oh, I, you know what? Someone had mentioned that in the, uh, kind of re, you know, ridiculous type of, uh, suggestions. And I was thinking, I was like, I could just repurpose the TRX 4000 into like, I could just charge bay. I could just build the charger into it and just have some plugs. <laughs> Why not? It already weighs what it does. Just add some more weight, right? Dark horse garage. Thanks for the four ninety nine. I mean, I think that could almost just be part of it. I'll just put it. Like, cause I've got that little, uh, what are those? What's that brand of the tiny little chargers? D I I I S D T I S D T Q 50. Just build that right in there. Have a X T 60, just plug into that. And you can just people. Bob TRX $4,000. <laughs> yeah. You have to charge people money to charge their trucks. Yeah. yeah try and recoup Pay off the money for a $500 yeah. lipo. <laughs> Good God. 
<laughs> now, okay, let's go back to budget buildup. Yes. So what did you do? You cheated a bunch again. I did. Then... I put a servo horn on that I didn't know hey. where it came from. I make no apologies. I, well, because again, you have no sense of like you have no moral fiber. You that part of you doesn't exist. You're a medical mystery. <laughs> no, you know what you are? You're a sociopath. <laughs> so you're like this stuff doesn't bother me. Doesn't I didn't bother. do anything. I mean, wrong. I've been it's not doing... me who's wrong, it's you. Yeah, I, I it just what I get it all day at work. It does not bother me. <laughs> That's why you're so good at it. Yeah. Um, I added some brass weights to the rear uh, axle um, and changed out my front steering links for aluminum ones. So now... Wait. Uh, did, you steers. only added those on the rear axle? Yeah, I already had... Uh, I have aluminum uh, knuckles or brass knuckles on the front. Oh. They didn't come in a set of four? No. I bought them separately. But... Oh. Okay. What? No, nothing. You hate performance so much that it drives me inside just a little bit. Like, like I get the twitch. Like, I don't understand. So I, I have rear brass hubs and I have front brass knuckles. Yeah. Somehow that's a, that's a problem somehow. I don't like adding rear weight when, well, I'm but, also adding this giant hard body. I know, and that's the... the... So, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that the weight was staying low. I get it. A little bit, some rear weight. I would have just, like, if I'm adding the it's rear... Not I'm adding the rear, I'm going to add weight. some to the front as well. I just, I know. But I did. I did already. I would just, I would have put them on it front steps. and rear. I think I even have those. No, these are the, these are the brake style weights. I'm aware of what they the are. Hub. Just don't. You know what? Don't worry about it. There's method to my madness. I'm just going to wave down. them, thanks gonna wave the them past my car. Uh, Matt, uh, thanks for the styrene video and advice. My pleasure. I hope oh, you guys all went back what about, and watched it. I, at least you really didn't good. give me any crap about 3D printing. No, not yet. I'm about to. That's next. Because, Psycho no. 13 Garage, you could use that battery as a climb test for the SCX24 budget build-off truck. <laughs> oh, pff, no problems whatsoever. I mean, it is the same size overall. <laughs> you should build a trailer for it and power <laughs> If that. it could pull this thing, it, it, I guarantee you this truck could not pull this one. But, <laughs> and Quack RC, hey, I think you cheated with the servo horn. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Psycho 13 Garage, thanks for the $5. Hearing you two bicker about the rules of a build-off are almost as entertaining as the build-off itself. <laughs> I agree. Now, this is all for entertainment purposes. My... I do genuinely not like Josh, but aside from that, no, he's all right. I was waiting um, for you to try and give me crap about 3D printing and co the cost of whatnot. No, 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 no. Other people already did that in the comments. I saw them. I read through all the comments. Yes, uh, I, do, I do as and, well. I, I noticed that some people did pick up on that and it's, it is sort of like, it's a gray area for sure because not everybody has a 3d printer. Right. And if you don't, then Shapeways is prohibitively expensive for most of the stuff you'd be making. I know you put it up there. How much is it on Shapeways? Like 60 cents, maybe 55 on Shapeways. I don't know. I didn't check. Um, <laughs> but, but see, okay. It's, but that's it's, it's, the thing. If you are going to be offering it on shape raise, regardless of whether there's a markup or not, it doesn't matter. That should be the cost of it when you install it on your truck. Why? What if I just find some guy that will print them for 55 cents? That's the nope. same thing. It has to be a real, no, it has to be a realistic price. If you're yeah. offering, if you're offering it on Shapeways, then that's the price. It's off Shapeways then. It's already off. It's not even there. <laughs> Go never put it up. <laughs> I definitely forgot. <laughs> yeah. Even though in the video, he says, I, I'm going to put it right up on Shapeways. And, guys. oh, let me tell you, last night I finished the budget build at like 1130, which was awesome. That's earlier than I ever finish a video. I was like, oh, sweet. I'm going to go to bed. And just instinct. I go, after I finish a video, I usually go on my phone when I'm like laying down in bed. I just go to check the video. Yeah. Just, just to check it. 
and just to make sure, and it showed that it was 56 seconds long. Cool. Like what? That was a fast export, I bet, when you so, exported it. Yeah, it should have. I should have known. But I've been using H.265, which yes. is fast, especially yes. with our graphics cards. Those things will export in two minutes, three minutes, which is yep. great. So uh, if it was three 16, minutes, 17. what's that? You know, 16, 17 minute video. It's a two minute export. It's yeah, pretty which amazing. Is great. So then especially all, of, when... all of a sudden I'm just like, I, so I just hit export and I go do something else, you know, start working on my thumbnail or whatever. And all of a sudden I'm just like, so I had to go back out there and try and figure out. And then it just kept, it wouldn't export, wouldn't do it. So I finally figured it out got it re-uploaded. Of course, I had to redo all of my title and description stuff, like copying it and pasting it. Because you can't just like swap a video file. They just don't allow that. No, that's so not how it works. It was 12.45 by the time I actually got done. And yes, I did then did forget the uh, Shapeways. <laughs> There's some great comments coming through here. Gunner, thank you. Matt is going to end up with an SCX 2400. <laughs> dollars um <laughs> yeah um this is this is good slap nuts said it's amazing how josh can put 150 dollars worth of parts on an xcs 24 for 50 bucks i didn't do that at all my part my price i spent over what i should have even here's I all the things that i bought but i didn't put all of them on the truck if i don't put the them on it doesn't count I, you tried them out, though. I didn't. I looked at them. Waved them past. Do you like this? No. Nope. What about that? No. Nope. Hello, Seafire Fire Truck. Hello, uh, Derek, Derek Williams, is this about putting together a build we can copy, or is it about doing the best you can with what you have? It's not about doing the best you can with what you have. That's for sure. Um, it's right. more about uh, spending $50 a week and trying to use that money effectively to make either an upgrade or a cosmetic change or just make the truck more your own uh, whilst also adding a bunch of parts. So it's sort right. of like making it to your taste, but doing it on a weekly basis instead of like, here's my credit right. card. It, you know, it, originally when I started doing the budget builds, it was just it was just that thing. It was like, yeah, like you don't have to take a big pile of parts and build a big custom rig all at once. You can just slowly work your way up to something, find a cheap RTR, the cheapest one possibly. You know, I, the first one was the deadbolt. Second one was the poison spider wraith. Um, and we did the honcho the together. Honcho we did next. Then the TRX four sport. Now the little guys. Um, but it's just a, I think it's just the, a fun way of, of us uh, crap talking each other a lot. Right. And um, also, kind of doing some innovative stuff. I know Josh has got some stuff in the pipeline that uh, I will give that him crap for later. Some people are going to not love. <laughs> so if, if you thought I got some shit comments this week. Oh, just you wait. Just you. But I think that you're going to find the same because I have an inkling of what you're going to try and pull next week. Oh, you do? I do have, I have an inkling. You do, huh? I'm not going to voice it yet. You go ahead. Say what you will. Well, at Why this, do you think I'm saving all this money? Well, the thing is, is that next week we've been calling free week, mm -hmm. which I feel like you're going to try and interpret in a way outside of what I had initially said when I said a free week. Yeah. In the TRX4 Sport one, we did we had a week where we could cheat, a cheat week. And yeah, I feel like week. you're going to try and like... like Label left, this free left week turn as Clyde and to be like, eh. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like there's some some shenanigans that could happen next week. We'll see. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not saying I don't have my own shenanigans to coming come. from you. That's <laughs> rich. <laughs> Hot meat kettle. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Robbie Bobster. Thanks for the five Australian dollar dues. Finally got myself a sand scorcher. Awesome. Only nice. took 40 years. Same with <laughs> me. Uh, about to order the Ampro parts. If the wife asks, I'm blaming you. <laughs> if she can find me. <laughs> well, you know where he is every Wednesday. So. <laughs> I'm in my basement. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> yeah. 
it is uh, we, that's great it's a good it's a good fun thing go ahead what do you what do you uh, got i don't even remember i had something we should do a mail call but at the same time i should i as immediately as i said that i remembered uh a couple of things for one my biggest mail call is that ginormous battery and then the other ones, the parts that are sitting here in front of me that I was working on when I started calling you, I realized that I really shouldn't show. No, because that's part that of spoils. It spoils budget. future weeks. Uh, yes. Oh, but I do have some parts. I, uh, and actually, this would be a great time because maybe I could get some clarification. Uh, I got two light kits, I believe, or a add-on light. Kit. This is from my trick RC. Attack! Attack! Uh, these just showed up. I feel like I got a message about them, but I don't feel like it was from my trick RC initially. I feel like it was somebody who was working with them. And I honestly, I don't remember. And I'm trying to recall. Was it Dan? Who is Dan specifically? He owns my trick RC. I don't think, no, I don't think it was him. Okay. I don't know. I just remember. These showed up and I'm just like, I remember a conversation, <laughs> not vividly, <laughs> but I got to try and find it in my messages. And you know, out, when you're Josh guys, no, it's no that's not hard. it at all. I just, do not, I feel like it just, I don't, I don't even remember what vehicle this is for. Or... Where did this Fijon come from? I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, let's see. Did this say this is assembly instructions? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this shows for a capper, which I don't have. Derek Williams, I think it's awesome that you're doing a hard body build. Thank you. Uh, you have those skills, those tools, and those supplies. Some people don't, but they have a 3D printer, just a different approach. Exactly. Totally. That was going to be my 100. My counter argument to yep. it. Derek Williams Not a is lot a of genius us, uh... and a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, and I mean. I think I think that you know there is some room for interpretation when you're using like a 3D printer or uh, styrene Sa tools or whatever. Eight thousand grit sanding sticks and that was a lot How of was that live appreciate. build. I watched almost that whole live build. As I guarantee you sanded you a one twenty four scale battery body. One yeah, but look at the smooth look at the smooth job I did on that. If you just, I see, I mean, I, I feel like I see lips and just, I don't know. No, Do you, it's Did you get smooth. any 10,000 grit to try and fix that? So I could probably, you know what? I'm going to go back over that again. <laughs> um, Lone Star RC guy. Thanks for the 499. This donation is to help fund all the therapy you're going to need after working with Josh for all this time. <laughs> Which, Which, you know so what? I, I couldn't imagine being married to him. So, well, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad that that's not something you're trying to imagine. No, um, I'm. Tr I feel bad for Nicole. That's what I'm saying. She is the luckiest wife I've ever had. Like, certainly wasn't the first one. Nope, had a trainer. Nope. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> Another project. <laughs> yeah, I finished a project though. <laughs> Um, Adam Tebbin wants to know a good 90 degree angle for working with styrene. One, two, three. Where blocks. is, yeah, you can use a one, two, three block. Or you can use gigantic lipos. <laughs> There's some really nice I use, sharp uh, 90s. I use this. He's one of these. Ooh, you got a nice Everyone's angle block there. Yeah, good old angle block. That's a perfect 90 degrees. It's so sharp. But these are great. I got this in Micromark. You can find those on there. Or like Josh said, a one, two, three block also yes. works. These are usually pretty accurate. Um, I don't know where my one, two, three blocks went to. Well, you don't do a lot of. Unfor I use one, two, three blocks for things that one, two, three blocks should be used for. Not actually, <laughs> I, I've got multiple out by my CNC, but I usually had some in here. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, I guess we're doing the news, yeah? Oh. Or not news. news. Um, sorry. Is, is this top uh, here? What are we talking about? Mail call. <laughs> the news. There's the a news. new Dacia Sandero. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this year's Fiat anyway. Panda. 
is <laughs> so the first thing I've got for uh, mail call this week, Proline. Uh, I got one of the Mustang bodies. Oh, look at you! Yeah, this is pretty nice. It's gigantic. It's going to take me forever to paint. Not looking forward to that part. But the reason that I have the Mustang is I've got I've got the uh, the Traxxas truck that's staying as is. I've got the Malibu body that I painted up. But I realized that my car is so not good at going straight that it really should have a Mustang body on it. So it like, you know, cars and coffees in real life. Cause yeah, it's uh, not good at going straight. I'm, I'm not the best at drag racing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if it's I am hard. Or not because I really, you've never done it. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever like, have you accelerated? I have with a drag car. I have several times. Yes. But Multiple not in times. any sort of like, not in a competitive fashion, not in a competitive fashion. No. So I thought the Mustang would be perfect for me because oh. it just, it will go perfect with my ability to not drive straight. Yes. Agreed. Uh, John Roberts RC 1.6. Thanks to the $5. Hi, Matt. For the fun haver, would larger SLW help with widening? Yes, it would. Um, but also, um, I don't know if I have it handy. It's here somewhere. Stand by. Um, eh, I don't know where it is. But uh, Scale Metal Supplies sent me a widening kit for the IFS. So it adds extra width up front. And then you do run a, a wider SLW hub in the rear to compensate for that. So you get the I width don't have the scrub coming. steer. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty good looking kit and um, something he offers on his website. So definitely check that out or reach out to him on Instagram. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, very cool. So that's another thing I got. I don't know where it is. It's around here. So, there's so many things floating around. I don't know exactly where I put it. I I have been doing a. Uh, I've got a number of things out of here, which has been great. Um, oh, that's good. Yes, it's. Uh, oh, I do. God, I have another thing that I can't show. Yes. But yes, it's Jeremy, the best I got part the Mustang it, justify hitting the curbs. The best part of it is. That the thing that I'm not going to show, Sean, uh-huh. me, was the body for the 50k build. Oh, all right. Yes. So that thing Fantastic. is that thing is done, and I can do the last video, and we can give it. Away. So it's uh, that's, it look, that's really yeah. good news because that's been a long time coming. It and has I know been. That Suits is is uh, it's all is, caught up. Well, he's he's working on getting caught up. I know he's there's been some the, some people that he's had some bodies for 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 quite some time and uh he's yeah. digging himself out of that hole and uh mine was in that queue and it made it this week which was awesome that's awesome so that's now cool. we're just gonna do a final wrap-up video on that and uh cool. which is great because we've got like Five. a number the rcpc wrap-up video yep. we're going to shoot soon. that uh the 50k wrap-up that'll be soon um the TRX 4000 next video is, I shot that the other day. I'm going to try and get that edited Amazing. and ready cool. to go. I'm, I'm going to try and run it this weekend is the thing. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, so, the uh, Crawl for a Cure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, six, the 60K build? Uh, funny thing about it, once Suits finally, <laughs> he was finally getting into the swing of getting the things done, he contacted me again. Um, and I was just like, will you just, I had him, he was going to do 50 on the side for me. I was like, will you just do 60 on the other side? <laughs> no. 50, but then cross it out yeah. and put 60. So I said to do 50 on one door and 60 on the other. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I like that. Uh, so. Okay. Another, another thing that came today, and this is kind of, this is exciting for me anyway. Uh, Sounds like pain. Traxxas. Yeah. Traxxas sent me a gigantic selection of their new uh, Lexan paint. How is, does it have an ergonomic tip as in uh, the, as in the product description? Oh, oh yeah, it does. That's a good Look at that. tip, actually. I wonder how they'll spray. Let's find out. Oh, all over my monitor. Um, 
they uh, they've got a bunch of different colors already. Um, this is a tint. This is a fluorescent purple. There's a whole bunch of colors, uh, pretty wide range, but they're uh, definitely do, kind of skewing towards their Traxxas E colors. Do they have an orange that is actually yellow? <laughs> they've got. <laughs> they've got. It's funny, actually. You say that they've got Max Orange, and it's double X. Max. <laughs> Perfect. So for your your Max vehicles, I guess. And then there's a fluorescent red, but it also kind of looks kind of orange. <laughs> this can't apparently. This cannot be sold in Canada. Oh. Can Probably be sold. Because of the can be given. Here. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It can be. It can be transported here. Yeah. Just can't. Apparently. Um. But I'm really keen to try that out. I've got um, a whole range of colors there, and I've got. Uh, they actually sent along a couple of bodies too. They sent. This is actually kind of interesting. It's for oh, people that I think. The... Yeah. They, you, yeah. So it's got like a masking of all like these black graphics on there. And then you can kind of pick and choose what colors you want to use on the inside. So it's sort of like this is for the Haas. I would say it's sort of like a beginner's guide yeah. to getting into Lexamp. So like perfect for you, Josh. Oh, absolutely. If they had one of those with like graphics that I liked. Well, I'm sure that we could make all the oranges in the world work for this. You could fade with multiple yeah. oranges in the graphics. Oh. Aids in there that would be kind of speaking tight. my language yes sir anyway so that's pretty cool they also sent along a trx4 sport with one of their new trx4 sport uh winch bumpers oh okay that makes sense so they're integrating the winch in, in into that lineup bumper. yep yep uh there's a trx4 sport body and then i think most interestingly for me is the fortec corvette body clear you got to clear one of those i gotta clear one of those so i'm gonna do up i think i'll do like that yellow and black race yeah. no i think you gotta do they have you gotta do like a just a good brandy color you know tan top brandy <laughs> <laughs> get my new balances out <laughs> can you just do a new balance like a racing oh, new balance fun. livery <laughs> full race style but just new balance livery Alex livery. I think, <laughs> I think that's a great idea. This this body kit is the crazy one. So it's got like the full motor details, all the yeah. bits and pieces for that. It's pretty tight. So there you go. That's. I think that's it for mail call. That's uh, pretty good for one. me. You got some good stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. There's some nice. Like I'm really excited about the paint. And I mean, despite the fact that this was supposed to be the year of no Lexan. I say that every year. <laughs> There's been a lot of Lexan. Oh, something else did come. I'm going to read a couple right of back. John Roberts RC. Hi, Josh. Have an old TLR 22 2.0 buggy kit and starting my larger Flamingo build soon. John Roberts, I I have so many like scratch built style three wheelers I'd love to do because I've seen some really cool ones. You'll definitely have to tag me in uh, some of those posts because I'm. I'm ready to see that. And BT, thank you, sir. Bruiser, question mark? Oh, man, you got you had me thinking on it all weekend. And it has been a good motivation because there's just, I've got a number of things in here that I'm really looking to just try and get out of the way and then possibly get my storage unit. <laughs> and then we'll see. And then we'll get the 40 foot container. Oh, I would be, I would be so in for that. Matt, for some reason, your man is looking a little. He's a bit tall. Was he not He's as advertised, tall. or did you not measure the actual no, no, no. fitment very well? How how would I measure the fitment? How would I know? With like, a ruler. It's, it's not like they say in the description of the product. Did you? His hips are here. <laughs> how am I going to know where he bends? Is he not Jesus. proportionate to body type? Yeah, he's. Perfect size for this scale of vehicle. Yeah, but, but you had the truck in front of you, and you could be like, obviously, this seat. No, no, no. I didn't go to, to a tall. store. I don't. You didn't have to. You were like, I'm I need a nine. Just... You were putting in your Craigslist ad. I need a nine-inch man. Help me find. 
I need Amanda hug and kiss. <laughs> Where's like, Amanda hug and kiss? So obviously you um, did not need a one ninth scale figure. No, you do because this is this this. He's not a one ninth. He's nine inches. He's se- he's like seventh <laughs> scale ish. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to remove his hips, and I'm just going to attach his legs to the end of his <laughs> to torso. his belly button. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine. He's going to look perfect. For the size of the truck, he actually is like, he's pretty spot on. He's just a little. It looks, yeah, it looks bang on. Good work. It is, no, he is. He's perfect. He'll fit fine. He's gonna be that, fine. Look, that looks like half of the posts on Facebook right now. No, you mean the other way, pal. At least he's too big and not too small. <laughs> Did Matt just say that's tight? <laughs> no, I said he's pretty. It's pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in there fine in no time. Not to worry. BT, thanks for the wow twenty dollars. <laughs> Spreading the wealth while you spread your paint. Uh, somebody else said something pretty funny up here. Um, is that a young Gary Busey? <laughs> Every Corvette comes with a lifetime supply of white New Balance. Oh, Timothy Timothy Locke's Perception Deception show said, I'm thinking Traxxas wants you to use their new paints on those bodies. Yeah. <laughs> like, hmm, maybe they don't want you showing their paint being used on another brand's body. Sort of like, I'm pretty sure if I paint that Proline Mustang... I shan't be painting it with the Trax's paints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, ooh, some decisions to be made here. Oh, that's fun. <sighs> I'll just dremel out a... That's a good idea, Moose Jaw. Dremel out a portion of the seat so his bum fits better in the... Just sort of, like, smushes in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Oni said, do it Josh budget build style. Just buy all the figures and just pick the one, and the rest of the money you spend doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> <laughs> I was discussing with Matt this weekend. So, the project that I have for next week uh, on the budget build, I, I was working on with this truck, but the problem was, is I kept having to dis. I was had this truck like disassembled, and then I was working on it, and I had to like then take it all back apart and put it back to how it was, so that I could film the upcoming episode. And I was getting it was becoming annoying because I was I was into what I was working on, so I had messaged Moose Jaw, and I was just like, "Hey, uh, RC Country, got any?" Uh, Got any of those uh, SCX-24s in stock up there? And he's like, yeah. And he sent me a picture of a big stack. I was just like, yeah, you better put one aside. So I went up to the uh, I went up to the old RC country, and I picked up a uh, Deadbolt version. Oh, wait a second here. Wait what? a second. Are you, uh, are you using this Deadbolt in the budget build-off in any not, way? Not, not specifically. It's just sorry, in sorry, proximity. not specifically, but it's it's being used to maybe test parts that you're going to be putting on. It's, it's like a, it's like nobody a, I know. <laughs> it's like a, uh, you know, it's a loan like a a parts car. Would you no, say or no, like no, 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 a, no. Uh, it's, it's a like test a, bed? Then. It's like a test dummy. It's like a mannequin. Uh, so yeah, like a buck, if you will. Sure. Right. Listen, You're going to put that in the budget. We're going to audition them on here. And then if they work, you can make $1,000 to $5,000 a day. <laughs> Degenerates. All of you. I'm going to find um, you. <laughs> so, uh, I bought the same RC foil drive uh, steel wheels for it so that I had... The only thing I don't have is I, I need to get another set of Little Guy Racing Park tires. <laughs> <laughs> budget build where the rules are made up and the money doesn't matter to one of us <laughs> that all of this is going into next week's episode by the way 
Welcome to the actual budget build. The other one is some sort of fantasy land where money doesn't matter. If you thought, if you thought the use of an of a three D printer was a little outrageous, I got news for you. Josh is using a whole second truck. You're scum. <laughs> The levels to which you stoop. This isn't even a competition, guys. It's not where one of us is declared you know what? the winner. That is one thing that I need to... I have a beef with you on. Okay. When I let's, started these... Let's figure this out. Go ahead. When I started the budget build, it was just the budget build. Okay? You, which brings me back to the whole th that message I sent you earlier... When you joined, yes, which was like when things kind of changed to that whole thing, you kept referring to it as the budget build-off. In all of your videos, you were calling it the budget build-off, and I was always just still calling it the budget build. Uh -huh. And now somehow I've just caved in and be like, Fuck it, fine, it's the budget build-off now. It's a build-off. It's just a name. <laughs> Doesn't, it's not like it's It was the budget, named before, and all of a sudden you're just like... Competition. You're just like, nope, it's called the budget build off now. You just, you came well, in, you just changed the name of, of the show. There's two of us. It's a budget not, build off. We're I'm both saying I caved it. in. I caved into your peer pressure and allowed you to just steamroll the, the legacy of what I had I, created. I love how you're trying to make this your platform. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Well, you. You added an extra word, and it offends me. Cool. You know what? That word cost a dollar. <laughs> I'll put it in the next week. I will. Good thing it's free. It won't count. <sighs> anyway, I sent you that message while I was driving home. Yes, five things. Five something. A, a what I a question that I want to propose to you or put out there for for you to think of i was watching a ver veritasium youtube video versus what however you say that his youtube channel i don't know if you've ever seen his it's mainly just like it's a science channel i'm big i don't know if you saw my water bottles this week but i'm big into science so <laughs> <laughs> that oh hey you know what all jokes all joking aside because this is all jokes josh and i are very good friends and this is <laughs> Like, I really honestly care what he does with $6,000 into the SCX-24. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, that, that demonstration of center of gravity was fantastic. I didn't learn anything, but it was really, really good. It was really good. And, you know, it was a great primer for what it actually means and how it can affect things. Really, really well done. Nicely yeah. done. It's, uh, you should have seen when I walked out there and went, <laughs> walked up to Nicole and go, how much water you got left in that bottle? <laughs> why? Like, why are you asking me this? Don't take my special water. <laughs> so I was just like, <laughs> just like taking that one, grabbing another one out of the refrigerator. And then there was another one in the bottom of the refrigerator. I'm like, is this new or have you refilled it and put it back in there? Because she does that a lot throughout the day. Uh, with just regular water. Yes. Out of the tap. We drink tap water. We're just those people. I don't, I guess people like, are like, you drink tap water? I'm like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's of course. Fine. It's good. It's, it's out of the tap. It's not, there's no 5G in the water. Like, like out the That's toilet? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, with the top part. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, did you refill this one? She's like, yeah. So, and I went over to the sink and I'm just like pouring it out. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not the fancy water, right? No. Yeah, exactly. Like, which water is this specifically? And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's for a video. And I'm just carrying three, <laughs> these three water. And she's just, I didn't explain anything more than that. And she was like, whatever. I just, I don't, I don't know. Just go into your hole. Like, <laughs> <laughs> tap water is good. I have no problem with tap water. Anyway, back to my question. Yeah. So, Science Channel. He was talking, it was like the success paradox video, which is pretty interesting. But it was talking about like how some people, you don't, People don't kind of uh, put enough, they don't think about like the luck factor that comes into a lot of success that they may have in their life. There's a percentage of things that are just luck. 
right and, place, right time. And, and it is, it's a thing, you know, and, but I wanted to kind of take that a little bit into asking you, like, if you can think of five, like, milestone things that happened, you know, even maybe before RC that have led to your current success in RC, what would they be? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, success is uh, defined like, very like, loosely. Like, yeah, we've seen that body. So, like, <laughs> that's your, your SCX-20. That, you're still going to call that a success, I'm sure, somehow. But wow, that is low. That is low. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a good uh, question. I'll, I'll um, throw one out first just to, to get of, you to like I had me or for no, you no, no, for me. I don't know. you. Okay. It's like they, the whole point of the video was like people don't often reflect back on their own like lucky or moments that right. maybe have been a little bit outside of their control that have led to most people might think that a success moment for you is starting your job at Vanquish, but that was actually uh, the opposite of success for everyone who works with you. Right. And I wouldn't even like I would, but like that was kind of more of just a, a side effect of some of the other things like, like of, of other moments. Um, <laughs> like one, like back when I was, I, I called my mom today on my way home. I was like, when did dad have the shop on 23rd and Leavenworth in Omaha? Like, because I specifically remember it was like 91 to 93. He had his business at that location. And I remember like one of his lead fabricators showing me CAD for the first time and oh. then showing me their plotter. They had like a big wide format plotter, which like picked up a pen or an ink little pen and it came over there and it drew lines. It's like, this is the thing. This thing will draw blueprints for you. And then it went over there and it picked up a different color. Like it had black yeah. and blue. And I was like, whoa, oh, oh, look at this. Whoa. Computers drawing. So, <laughs> you know, it's just like, and I just. Leave like, me alone. I'm computering. Yeah. I remember like that got me. I was interested in CAD from like remembering that thing as a kid. In but that's now. not really. Is that an RC thing though? No, but or is that, that a thing that you're saying is a success that led that to. That made me like interested in CAD, which is kind of where all of my success in RC came from. Right. Which it, it led to all, like, it was almost the thing that led to all of my successes past that. Yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, have I had any success <laughs> in this yet? <laughs> I mean, I built some stuff. You know, like I don't know. How did the opportunity to buy Scale Builders Guild pop up for you? Oh, uh, that's a great question. I don't really remember. Uh, <laughs> I, I know that the previous owner was just sort of like, I'm over it. This is too much work. Uh, I don't have the same passion I used to. And I think I was a mod at the time. Okay. Like, I think I was just on the mod squad for the forums. And I think he saw me as someone who like could bring something to it maybe like did mm -hmm. i even have the youtube channel i must have had the youtube channel before i owned it so yeah i did i must have and maybe he saw something there and he offered it to me uh sale well, I mean, price like, was i guess that would be a moment yeah like that seems like kind of a moment at least like yeah, you, you could just be you could be in a similar position to you are now, just as I'm that guy, which doesn't have the same ring to it as Scale Builders Guild. But like, well, one yeah. sounds better than the other. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> One's easier to spell. Um, I think maybe one of the other things was actually like going to like one of my f like going and meeting up with with Noob for the uh -huh. first time. I think that was probably a pretty big deal in terms of like that next level. Cause I mean, we sat and we just kind of looked at builds and, and went over stuff and like the time I've spent just hanging with him and talking, I've learned so much. Absolutely. And that's, you know, I have a similar, you know, same thing with headquake, right? Like I was really fortunate to meet and hang out with, with Rick a fair bit. I mean, right. we don't chat very often, but we still are in touch. He doesn't seem like the chatty type. So, you know, mm. but the, uh, 
One, two things. Dale C, thank you. Sorry I'm late. I bought a chainsaw. <laughs> three fewer trees on the prowl. You know what? It's always time for interrupt. Interruption for chainsaw stories yeah. is always worth it. <laughs> Five or six hundred, hundred to hundred fifty foot trees coming down on Friday. Jesus, be careful, man. Yeah, and make sure someone's filming. Uh, but cut, also then cut ben, on this side. Ben, go that way. His comment in his here: luck disguised as hard work, or is hard work disguised as luck? That was ex like almost exactly what the yeah, video man. was about. Because like that's that's the it thing though. It is a ton of it is attributing like their success or whatever purely to hard work when like you can't you shouldn't fully discount just some luck it, it's there it was a fantastic video it, the website or the channel name is like veritasium and it's called the I'll success it paradox it's a great video um yeah, but you know it's just like and a lot there's everything has a you know there's luck and you know hard work that go into everything but kind of Getting. I guess I'm trying to think of like in terms of like success of like the mm -hmm. SBG and this sort of like the YouTube thing and everything that I I'm going to say that probably started with Rodney Wills because he reached out to me and was like, I'd love to talk to you on the phone about the stuff you're building and, and like, see if I can't send you some, some kits and stuff. Yeah. And I was and like, I was Whoa, what? <laughs> I, huh? I had a, a very, so when I was, it was 2007 and uh, I was, I had just moved to Kansas city in January of that year. And the HPI wheelie King had just come out and Kevin, the owner of TCS crawlers, which at the time was like the big the website big for yep. RC crawling. And he reached out to me and he was just like, Hey, I've seen that you've been posting a bunch of like CAD images and you're doing design work. Would you be interested in designing for us? We'll send you a truck and some stuff like this to work with. And I was just like, the idea of anybody sending you a vehicle, like oh, I know. was, it was, you, you know, a day that I like today, I'll, I still, I still remember and remember how excited I was. Yeah. Um, and you know, or it's, like, Another one would have been like becoming a uh, a team driver for like RC four wheel drive. You know, they're sure. like, we'll, we'll let you know when new stuff is coming out. We'll give you a first right of refusal on things. And, you know, Tom would email me or Richard, Richard more than me, but hey, can you do a custom build for us? You know, and I mean, it just kind of got us out there and put our names on the map, I guess. Right. That's definitely a cool moment for sure, too. Uh, I mean, I'm constantly surprised that um, my hobby has become this thing. And I, the great thing about it is that I still really love it as a hobby. There are times when I'm a little bit overwhelmed because I've got so many projects on the go and this room is very small, but um, I love it. I wouldn't, even if I wasn't doing this part, I would mm -hmm. still be doing this. I fully agree. And I, the exact same for me. And I feel like I would maybe be getting more done because, of, <laughs> you know, in all right. honesty, just the amount of yeah, time that this stuff takes. The filming it, and the editing and right. the filming, like, and the editing and yeah. you know, learn just all of it. It's a constant, you know, the amount of money that it takes to buy that side of the equipment that takes away from being able to put it into this side. Um, yep. But you know, the, one of the other ones that I had thought about was uh, actually you had reached out to me when we got the deadbolts. Right. And, or wait, wait, was it the, was it the honcho first? Uh, was it the honcho first? Yeah. Honcho first, then the deadbolt. Exactly. Yeah, it was That's because we did the, we got the honcho, the red JK and the deadbolt all within like a month and a half or two months. But you had you had messaged me and you're just like, Hey, you want to like work on a video together? And I was like, well, I'm going to do this budget build with this budget build. I remembered saying not budget build off. <laughs> I'm going to be doing <laughs> And like, you're interested in doing that? And you're like, sure. And then we're midway through it. And you're like, how long do you do these? And I was like, the last one was like 30 weeks. <laughs> you're like, mm. but yeah. It, and then, so and, you reaching yeah. out, that was like, to me, that was one thing that helped immensely. You know, I started 
paying more attention to um, just the channel in general and continuing to be more consistent and things like that. Yeah, well, that's great. I mean, I think having someone like you, like uh, this kind of partnership, it does push each of us to actually get content out and finish things and, and do stuff. RCPC aside, we, we tend to finish projects to completion. And this, uh, this latest build off is a good one for sure. Rich, don't make fun of my shirt. True Julio. <laughs> Ew, that shirt, Matt, LOL. <laughs> Scott, I like this shirt. Axial needs to do some vintagey style shirts. I told Matt before. This I mean, it's in it, Horizon colors. It reminds me of Excite Bike, but <laughs> I actually like the shirt. Uh, Scott yeah, O'Blander, thank you, sir. Why did CAD lead you to civil engineering and not mechanical engineering? Um, I, I mean, both of them were were a thought to me at the time, especially right before when I was deciding to go to college. Um, at the time, especially in high school, I had a high school math teacher and who was also my next door neighbor and she was a professional civil engineer um and she had kind of given me some really good info about it and then i was i really liked uh bridge building at the time i did like the uh nebraska state i did that bridge. in school yeah. yeah i went to like that i had done like our local ones and and won that and then i went to the state competition and did you know well there and i, I really use enjoyed people. Ah, we did some paper stuff, but ours were like these uh, thin uh, sticks of balsa wood that you couldn't laminate together. They could be next to each other, but they couldn't be laminated. And there was a bunch of rules and all that. And they filled it with water yeah. until it broke. But uh, I really liked a lot of the, the side of of uh, civil engineering. And I kind of liked the lane that it would put me in at that time. You know, like, you know, they had always said, like, Mechanical engineering, which I obviously enjoy, it can kind of be mouse traps to rocket ships. You know, you could be doing anything in there. Where civil engineering, like, this is kind of in the the lane you're going to be in. If you and if this is one that you, I keep saying lane, like traffic. What do you know? Uh, oh, then it would. That's good. It applies, and it did, and I think it was a good fit for me uh, while I was doing that. And you get to talk about like roundabouts and stuff, all the stuff that you really love. I didn't realize um, my passion for traffic until uh, <laughs> my last couple of years of, of college. Yeah. Uh, Checkered Past asked, have you been more of a builder than a product reviewer prior to fame? I don't, well, fame. <laughs> I don't think this counts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think I was doing stuff like that even back then. Yeah. I, like there was a time when um, I wasn't even in front of the camera. I was mostly just running videos. That Same was all me. it was. Well, yeah. oh, I even did. I didn't, I didn't even talk. Oh, I did talking it, but it was just, it was the only thing you yeah, saw the was the, the back of my hairy hands. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. Um, COVID aside prior to this to do, did you ever just go out and crawl with buddies? I don't have a lot of friends in this general vicinity that RC at all so um i would always have to drive but yeah i would definitely get together and do that mostly with head quake and now finally super greg wants to know so the Traxxas paint won't be available in canada i don't think that's the case i don't, I don't think it's available yet i think it's just a labeling issue which i'm sure they're going to fix right away and then it will be available here but the second part of his question then why send it to someone in canada to promote uh the paint the internet is we're worldwide <laughs> prestige <laughs> put white out on a b it died <laughs> boats and hose all right um yeah because this is worldwide i don't ever really go the pricing in canada is this much more it's just this is the price yeah now that is a question that comes up on the budget bill they're like well is it really fair between you two and because of, yeah. I'm like, Matt, Matt's working in U.S. dollars. Like I always work in U.S. dollars. I never yeah. work in Canadian dollars. So that's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. I'm like, well, of course. Yeah. But uh, hey, 949 Designs, thanks for the dollar or 999. Buy Matt a plaid Dremel fund. <laughs> <laughs> Do they come in plaid? Oh, I mean, that's how fast it goes. They could. We could hydro dip one for you. <laughs> that would be awesome. My current <laughs> one goes to thirty, which I am. Uh, I'm. I'm. 
assuming that's 30,000 RPM. Mine only goes to six. <laughs> well, but yeah, let, let's see. This says, this says it goes up to 37,000 RPMs. That's 7,000 more than me. But yours plugs into the wall, right? This one does not. Oh. This one, I have a, I have a plug-in one, but this is a, a wireless battery oh. power, cordless, a as wireless. they say. It's got the, it's got Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's, it's got, it's got the Bluetooths. Was I a model builder prior to RC? Uh, I did some static modeling when I was a kid, but I was more into trains than I was into anything else. Which is the most fitting thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you want to see what amazing stuff can be done with model trains, or at least that scale, check out Luke Towen here on YouTube. Yeah, somehow you've got me to watch some of that before, and I'm just like, <sighs> so, he's so awesome. So, oh, uh, looking. Did you see in the news this week that I included a little bit of a story on that new comp Friction RC? You mean Pitbull Racing? RC. Do, can we discuss that and why that's yeah, weird? Let's, like let's why that's weird to that. me? We, you know who we are, but we're not telling you. Like it's so weird. Why? I don't. Why bother? So the reason that it initially popped up, or initially thought, for one, I saw that the Instagram profile popped up, and anytime it's like something like that, uh, oftentimes if I see a company that like starts to follow, I'll, I'll click on it, and that could have been easily just somebody's name, but yeah, I just yeah, clicked sure. on it, and. It was obviously like trying to be a company with a website and all that. And I was just like, that's odd. And then I saw a photo on, on Facebook pop up and I specifically saw the style of the build that was in the images and it uh, had axial machined links with like a Tamiya link mount on top and just how everything was put together. And it was, do you remember Bender, Bender Customs, Brad Dumont? Do you know Brad? I don't know. Yeah, I know Brad. Yeah, yeah, he has a course. very specific style. He doesn't fab a lot. He kind of just makes parts work together, which yeah. it's just a really odd style. No, well, uh, unique. Don't say odd. It's unique. unique. Sure. What if, it's a unique style. Um, and I was just like, that looks like Brad's style. And I was looking at the shocks. It's like, man, those kind of look like Pitbull style shocks too. And I was just like, did Brad start his own deal? And I like went to their Facebook profile and there's like five or six posts. Each of them only had like one like. And I saw, and Brad I was, like, was Brad. Like Brad was one. And then I was like, and Brad Bender Customs, who used to work for Axial, like there was the SWX chassis for those who don't or who may remember that. Um, and I was just like, okay. And I was looking and there was another Pitbull driver who had liked like the one post that had two was just another Pitbull. Then I saw the website and it said, American made or American owned and American designed. You know who we are, or you know who we are, but we're you not telling. You know who telling. we are, but we're not telling. And I was just like, okay, now I have to figure it out. Well, yeah, because you can't leave something like that. I know. Out like, there don't put a carrot, don't put a carrot out like that. Right. Just be whatever. It might as well have just said, Josh. Figure out who we are. Like, like you, you will waste time investigating a useless yeah. bit of knowledge. <laughs> and you did. Yeah. I mean, so maybe the, that's what they wanted you. Maybe the, this was all an elaborate ruse. It could be to get it, you, you know, to it, promote the, them uh, on the news. <laughs> the the miss the missed uh, find and replace in the terms and conditions was a uh, was was an easy one. And then, you know, some of the other, I, yeah. I looked up like the who is uh, stuff or, you mm -hmm. know, try and see who owned the website, but it was, it had who is privacy and all that. But yeah. Why, why do that? Why, why are they doing that? Like, what's the point? Like, I don't like, I mean, with, with incision as an example, that was just another line that you guys decided to do to kind of, live right. within the vanquish right it, was, it just would feel it was like one of those decisions we and had you like, didn't we wanted to have if we wanted to have a parallel part like how do you just have two parallel the, the parallel parts without you know we're just like like at the time titanium and stainless we're like let's just do right. the the stainless option <laughs> with under this uh, other brand and do this right and that's that's why you did it and you didn't it's not like you said incision parts we're not telling you who we are. <laughs> exactly. 
Like it's on the Vanquish site for crying out loud. <laughs> so it just uh, road it creation. So thanks for the five dollars. Speaking hey. of trains, I would like to do a garden train. Where should I start? Ooh, with a garden. I don't know anything about garden. Yeah, start with you need land. <laughs> Buy land. Land. You, they're not making any more of it. Um, I don't know, but for a garden layout, do steam. Go big or go home. That's what I say. 949 designs. Thank you, sir. Get yourself get yourself some new exacto blades. You know what? I haven't <laughs> changed mine out in several months. I should do that. Oh my god. I changed mine out several times this week. I uh, I bet I did mine last time on the stream, and I bet it was yeah. in the 50s. Richard Trigilio, uh, I count on Josh for useless knowledge. That's true. <laughs> you know, actually. As Rich brings up the number uh, of people in the industry that I talk to, they're like, watch the news every week. Like, that's how we, that's how we find out what's going on. Like, like I don't, have time, <laughs> I don't have time to pay attention to that crap. Like, <laughs> people actually watch your show. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a popular show. It it's is good. There's good information in there. There's information in there for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there is information. Uh, Rich said, I, th I think it was to get you guys to talk about it. How many just Googled the name right now? Mm. Well, yeah, that's true. you would think, but I will also say already, is it not the worst name? Friction? friction. Like for one, it's not even just friction spelled right. It's friction oh, with an X. X. Okay. And then it's just like <laughs> friction is the word. Like we're all, you know, I was trying to get away from friction. Yeah. They it's just call the it worst like, name. Well lubricated. But so like they have shocks that look pretty similar to the Pitbull shocks. The Pitbull shocks are a hundred dollars a pair or like 90 bucks a pair. These are $70 a pair. So okay. I, I don't, I don't get it. What's the point? They don't really have, I don't know. Uh, Jeremy like Kilbert said, have you met the owner? That oh. should explain it. I've had some really good times with Mike Green. In some places I, have, I shouldn't be, at some times where <laughs> I, I should have, have been at all. I thankfully uh, have no experience there. Grimger, <laughs> thanks for the five dollars. Uh, hey guys, it's been a minute since I've been able to catch a Wednesday night stream, so welcome, welcome back, Grim. I'm Thank going you to for repeat the in. exact same words that Matt just said. Grimger, uh, appreciate it as well. Yeah, thank you, awesome. sir. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, Josh went Columbo on that one. <laughs> I, oh, that's like one oh, of my favorite It's just things. one more thing. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, friction factor when it comes to traction. Well, there's a good point, Ben. If that's the one time you want some friction, but... God. But they usually call that traction, so it should have been traction with an X. Yeah, but yeah, but Traction was already Traction Hobbies is already a, a company. Like, oh, they got us! Darn it! <laughs> uh, Project One, seriously, how is Headquake? I haven't spoken to Rick in a little bit, um, but uh, good reason as any to reach out. So I will check in on him. Maybe I'll get together with him, uh, provided we're all uh, allowed to. Which I think yes. we are. Um. um <laughs> Sure, friction isn't great, but would you buy from well oiled? <laughs> I well, I was like well good, lubricated. Good, good work, Alex. <laughs> yeah, smooth lubed running, up. lubed up, lubed up our seat. You know what? I think we just started our next company, Josh. <laughs> Specific, <laughs> oh, we only sell nine inch men. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah. Uh, this show's been canceled. We're out of here. YouTube, YouTube canceled its first show. <laughs> <laughs> That's impinging on my rights. T T um, moist RC. crawler baller. Thanks for the twenty-five bucks. Wow. Uh, how do I get my hands on these rigs after the build-off so I can run them on my course, then send them back? Obviously. Oh. Love the live stream, boys. You know what? I'm sure we can make that happen. That's you know what? I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, you wanna you wanna run them, shoot them, <laughs> and send them back. We can make that happen. The uh, you know, or I'm, maybe I'll even have an exact clone of mine already that I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect one for one reconstruction of the budget build. 
<laughs> if you send me all of the exact same parts, I'll just build you the same one. <laughs> Friday Probably night if build. You want, if you're actually serious about that, reach out to one of us on Instagram and try to sort something out for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Dave Zilla says, and Dave Zilla knows because he works at a hobby shop, and I respect him very much. The horizon compliance issue is not a choking hazard, by the way. So that's, I would have loved to get some freaking information on that. I got a copy of the email and that's all I could get. And it didn't say anything in it about any of this. I reached out, I put a post up on Instagram trying to get it. So are they, do they have to send product back? I don't if think they have so now. I don't, I don't know what the issue was. I was really wondering. Um, but the, also the the copy of the email that I got, it didn't seem complete because uh, like I had heard that the SMT-10 can't be sent to Canada currently. Well, uh, it's because no one wants it. Well, there's that. Anymore. Canadians are like, ooh, monster trucks. Like, No, little, thanks. Li little we aggressive. don't like those up yeah, here. Like, that monster sounds a little scary, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so give, uh, give us some more of them nine inch guys yeah <laughs> i would have loved to get more information on that i really wanted to i tried i tried getting a hold of uh the hobby shop that i got a hold of oh. was uh in canada obviously um and he didn't know specifically uh eliminated rc you... where are they the uh, the my side above north dakota oh larry so yeah i know him. um Everything's related to the diff gaskets. That I heard it's like I didn't I had heard a rumor about <laughs> that and like possible asbestos. <laughs> but I was like, that can't be true. There's that no way. Like that would be illegal Craig, in the US too then. Craig, who owns another hobby shop here, uh, he said, Yes, we have to send stuff back and there is more part numbers being added this week. No way. Would somebody please That's send great. me an email if you have actual information? I would very much appreciate it. You can find a link on my they, website or shoot me a message on Instagram, whatever you have. I'll call you. Uh, Dave Zilla said well, they may have to send stuff back, but that's like a couple skids worth of product. I can't imagine what that would be. Wouldn't it be just easier for them to send a, like a sticker? They can just slap on the box. If it's something like that, where it's an act, if it's like an actual material, that's a banned material. They could be forced to have to, Ship back. Who knows? I would. Dave, but I would really Dave, like to hear. Yeah, Dave forty one thirty said, "I think Canada should hold back syrup from Horizon." <laughs> That's it, Horizon. You're not getting any more maple syrup. <laughs> You're gonna have to say please, Dale C. Josh, Matt, how about you send me those rippers for me to film and test on the course I'm building? <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be arranged, Dale. You know what? Uh, that is, it's only sent with a chaperone. So you have to oh, yeah. you have to pay for my chaperone to go up there. Uh, she's a nice lady. She sleeps on my couch a lot. Um, <laughs> Nicole? Yeah. I mean, not all the time, but like during the day sometimes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, everything that's on the list has a paper gasket. So there you go. There's something in that gasket. It's, it's the diff gasket, right? Yeah. It's chock full of. But is that, con is that been confirmed that it's that? Because, I mean, like the SMT-10 is made saying? in Taiwan. The Arma that were on the list, those are made in China. So it's like it's not like it's coming from one source. No, but it's whatever that source for the gasket is. They probably have, like, one company that makes no, gaskets. There's got to right? be more. Got to be. I don't know. I'm interested. I'd love to have it's, some actual info. It's like, it's like the, you know, they've all got the same kind of names the companies there it's like gasket concern <laughs> <laughs> in the in this prefecture in the Jesse number said, one I gasket bet it's a carcinogen concern. it could be so, probably is the gasket is made of rabies <laughs> <laughs> don't eat the gaskets that's yeah. all i have to put on the box do not do not lick this rc car seriously don't lick guys ask it Stop licking the gaskets. It's like, that's the new Tide Pod challenge. Yeah. Lick the gasket. <laughs> I mean, kids these days. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? We're out here today. We're licking all the gaskets at the RC shop. 
<laughs> Get out of here, you kids! <laughs> oh my god! I don't. Uh, such an interesting, you know. Just, I gotta know. Hey, did I? Did we? Did the was the night runner out the when thing, we did our we, show? Did we? Yes, it was. Uh, it okay. had come out on Monday. I showed it on Tuesday. Scale news. And then we talked about it on Wednesday. Cool. So <laughs> Jeremy Kilburn goes. Now I want to lick a gasket. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, of want to know. <laughs> Is any good? <laughs> yeah, like do they taste good? <laughs> Are Is they R two R product? Ready to run? Is that what you mean, Kyle? Um, no, they're not all. Some of them are just individual parts. Some of them yeah. are actual trucks. It's a, a full list. So, I don't know. So. <laughs> Moose just following up on my ornery old RC shop owner. <laughs> Take your ECXs, go get! <laughs> And now it's trending. <laughs> <laughs> I licked a gasket once. Don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> it's standard. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they've got they've got electrolytes. So <laughs> blown a blown a gasket, <laughs> licked a gasket. You know, whatever. <laughs> now we've gone a step too far. Yeah, <laughs> that's a Next that's post. a turn of phrase. Thank you. Hashtag SBG gasket challenge. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think you could lick another company's gaskets? <laughs> blind Hello. taste testing. We should Hello. blind taste test all the gaskets. Arma, ECX, Axial, Traxxas. <laughs> Just line them all up. You're like, nope. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I can That's clearly right. tell why these are banned and this one's not. This one tastes like burning. This one tastes like a nine volt and. <laughs> Moosha goes so great. I find one of my students licking gaskets. That would be new. <laughs> what is this? How did this show uh. happen? And for so long. <laughs> so long. It, it's constantly good. I'm, well, I mean, hey. self-judged. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> check, uh, your past, check your past. Goes, Trax is currently patenting the flavored gasket. <laughs> it's just, you're going to have the, the Traxxas Rustler Zebra Stripes edition. Like. <laughs> What was that? Fruit stripes. <laughs> it was the zebra. Was the mascot? Yeah. Fruit stripes. Yeah. Where, yeah, fruit by the foot. Wait, do you remember? <laughs> was this only me and my brother as kids? There was like certain gum where you could eat the wrapper too. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was a thing. I was just like, I want. I was just thinking back on. I was like, that was the gum you could eat the wrapper. I wonder, was that just us? Like, did we ever <laughs> confirm that, or were we just I idiots? definitely. <laughs> I definitely tried it wasn't that. Good, like, obviously. It's not good. It's I don't know like why the, you would have ever, but it's like, like the the paper wrapped chocolate cigarettes. Remember those? It was like a. It wasn't man. a cigarette. It was a candy cigarette. Obviously, I, back in yeah. the days when kids could pretend to smoke. <laughs> it wasn't the Popeye cigarettes? Those were different. Um, but it was Rice like chocolate, really bad chocolate wrapped in paper and. Most people just ate the paper because it all tasted horrible. Gunner Nissen, thanks for the four ninety nine. I've licked a lot of things. A gasket won't be one of them, or a nine inch man. <laughs> they make gastics with stuff that they put the Nintendo Switch cartridges. Wait, they put on the Nintendo. Just got a blow on them. <laughs> Lone Star RC guy, thank you, sir. This donation to get the gasket budget lick off. Series start. <laughs> Moose Jaw, will you go count how many different gasket options there are at RC Country this weekend? 
just for the just for knowledge, not for that, you know. I mean, not gonna do it. Know. Like, like this gasket is bad. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach's gonna hurt tomorrow. <laughs> did you oh, eat more man. of that? Did you eat more of that Armageddon jerky? I was licking gaskets. Like, so long as they don't lick the water pump gasket for a Toyota water <laughs> pump. <laughs> Is that a bad idea? Yeah, you ever seen that? I don't think I have. There's a specific Toyota that you can call an auto parts shop and be like, "Hey, do you have a gasket for a 1987 Forerunner?" With the 22R, what like whatever, and they're like, uh, yeah. like yeah, we haven't stocked. Like, I just want to make sure it's the right one. Can you explain what it looks like to me? Because it's very phallic. Like, <laughs> I like, see. I just want to make sure I have the right one. Can you get? <laughs> looks like uh, you know. I mean, uh, well, <laughs> looks just like Bezos' rocket. Like, uh... <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> copy. Yeah, so. uh, Phantom Works said so. Gasket flavored jerky next. I mean, Gunner, you can get on that. You're gonna have to <laughs> you're, taste you're gonna, it first. You're gonna be a real narrow market that that's gonna <laughs> sell to. You got about three hundred prospective clients. <laughs> 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 I heard all the gaskets taste like chicken. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah, totally, Oni. You're gonna have a bunch of kids that know nothing about RC coming in off the streets tomorrow buying gaskets, but only Horizon ones. You can only, yeah, only want the Horizon gaskets. That's why the hobby shop employees are always happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's <laughs> something in the yeah in the employee discount. They're gonna get, then they're gonna be just bootlegging them out the back. Yo, you guys want Trench some gas? Yeah, I got these. <laughs> like trench coat sales and gasket sales both going through the oh, man. <laughs> 1997 Toyota Tacoma water pump gasket Matt Google it there you go alright I'm looking it up 97 Tacoma water pump do it do it Bacardi and Cola so do it it's the first thing that comes up when you type in 97 Tacoma <laughs> hello <laughs> All right. Now, if you were to compare that to your figure that you bought. <laughs> this looks a little bit bigger. <laughs> I mean, not me, man. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Dogs bark. Yes, Dogs we bark. can hear. Your, uh, your NVIDIA broadcast settings are not turned up that high. Let's crank them up. Ooh. There we go. But yes. So the uh, oh, I have an event this weekend. I have yes, the ASD, ASD crawl for the cure, autism. Right? Oh, no, the autism awareness crawl is this weekend. Oh, autism awareness, um, right? Which is uh, in the Patterson, California area at Frank Rains Off Road Park. The crawl for a cure area is a blaze right now. Oh no, a really bad one popped up in the last few days. That's just going, just going crazy. Hopefully, anybody, I mean. That's not um, good. No, it's, I mean, it's a, another really bad fire that started. Obviously that's, it's a, uh, it's like 40 miles from me right now. So are these like, are these natural wildfires or, um, some, but not all, uh, like that river fire started at a campground. Uh, that was that one that was near Brandon's house. Um, yeah, this one last I saw it showed, uh, that it was under investigation. There hadn't been a, a, an ignition usually that happen. yeah usually that means that it's uh not natural right yeah they're, i mean usually they can identify if they're lightning strike you know or lightning created uh or things like that so that's brutal man yeah a lot a, of fires air quality is terrible out west all over all, all like it was, uh, Western Canada is terrible too yeah oh god yeah the, the fires up in canada are, are really bad um yeah our air quality has been terrible like it's just so overcast of yellow skies from the blocking out the sun. Apparently Siberia is on fire as well. The fires there are bigger than all the fires in the world combined. Which is wild. That's it's crazy. Like, yes. That's not good. Yeah. The next time it will be a crawl for the victims of gasket poisoning. 
<laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yes, the Dixie Fire is getting close to Susanville. It is it is that big. It's over 600,000 acres at this point. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. True story. Unbelievable. But, you know, so yeah, that's uh, hopefully our, the smoke isn't too bad at the event. Obviously, that's, you know, not the not the largest concern, but no. it's something nonetheless. So, yeah, what do you know? That, more budget build stuff to get done. RCPC yes. to get RCPC, filmed. we're going to we're going to figure out what the challenges are. We're going to do I think we decided we're going to do two driving challenges. Yes. Uh one backing up um with a trailer obviously. Uh, what was the other one we were going to do? Something about like uh, hooking up a trailer, like a time challenge, maybe? Uh, slalom, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, yes. Uh, then we'll do some benchmarks as well. And just then, to sort and of then the power. Yes. And then that'll wrap up. We'll pr- I think we'll shoot. I'm probably going to shoot Sunday for that. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to do, depending I've on. I've got a little. Hobby shop thing on Saturday that I'm going to try and get to. Oh, cool. Yeah, a little customer appreciation, a little rock crawl, little GCM uh, prizes for trucks. What trucks should I take? That. Maybe I'll take the jelly bean. There you go. So that, that would be, I mean, you could take the gladiator and people would be like, ah, oh, there you go. Because it looks like a truck. The, gla- the jelly bean takes an appreciated eye to understand. <laughs> I think I'll be in good company. Yeah, I think so too. GCM. Are the guys from GCM actually coming? Yep. They're making the, because they're not close to you. They're a few hours away, aren't they? They are a few hours away, but I think they're staying overnight uh, to, to play with some other friends. So crawler yeah. baller wants to see the jelly bean. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> It's been shown off a few times, I do believe. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's so weird. It, it is very weird, but it's still cool. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either. Matt it's should bring a good the bug. Time on that. Yeah, this. I mean, you should bring the. You should bring your sand scorcher as well. Yeah, it's such a, such an easy one to appreciate. Also. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll take that one too, just to show it off. No, Let's jump. See. Sick jumps. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> jelly bean. Uh, Moose jaw, Matt. You hit two cones back there. Those could have been people. They could have been guests at her wedding. Josh, they were cones. What's that from? <laughs> Sounds really familiar. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't get that specific reference either. I just think that it's funny. Yeah, it and is funny. Obviously, it came from something. Uh, that uh, event is out in Paris, Ontario, <laughs> named after Paris, France. Original. I like it. You know, most could... of the most of the places here are named after other places. Ah, that makes sense. There's a place called Kitchener, uh, which isn't too far from here. Originally, Berlin. They oh. changed that. <laughs> they changed that in the, uh, you know, 30s, 40s. Uh, that was from The Wedding Singer. Oh, Wedding Singer, right. Huh. I didn't, I don't recall. Sorry, I Moose Jaw, that's not. a really long time. Yeah, that's not my, like, I don't I, think that was one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies. Uh, I mean, that was, it was definitely during the time when they started to take a, a downward slide. The it was little, good. The little Nikki era, but um, mm. I do Happy the wedding Gilmore. singer. Happy Gilmore. I mean, that was good. I'm talking about little Nikki area it was starting with. I'm starting really mm. going down, but the wedding singer part. I always liked the. Uh, well, I have the microphone, so you'll listen to every damn word I have to say. Yeah, things I could have known yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh. Richard Fazio is asking, what are you going to do with a 30,000 milliamp battery? Uh, we did talk about oh, that yeah, at the question. beginning. Come up. At the beginning, uh, 
the 30,000 milliamp LiPo is for the Traxxas TRX 4000. <laughs> yes. Are you taking that to uh, your little uh, if if I can get event? it done in time? I don't know. It depends. I'm gonna have to hoof it tomorrow night. If so, you got to do some lot of cutting, right? I've already done the cutting, but I have to design and CNC the bat battery tray. Um, because obviously that does not fit within the confines of the existing battery do you, tray. Do you think you could make up a brass battery tray? Oh, you mean if I had like one eighth inch thick brass plate to use for such a thing? <laughs> like, I mean, if that was an option for material that I could, I could order to have <laughs> multiples of these. I mean, it's a, it's a good idea. I, sh I wish I would have thought of that. Um, but oh, your sarcasm is not lost on me. Um, I think actually, I think I'm gonna use carbon fiber just because you know, to keep, keep things light, but <laughs> performance <laughs> best Adam Sandler movie. I mean, I don't know if you can beat Happy Gilmore. Yeah, Happy Gilmore is hard to beat. If we're talking about his comedy movies, if it's not comedy, then that latest one that he did. Um, where he was like a, a gambler, like a, a gambling oh, problem terrible. jewelry guy. Oh, dude, no, Precious that was gems a or uncut Precious gems, gems or uncut gems. Oh, that was, that was an incredible movie. Terrible. I mean, you weren't watching it. Wasn't then. watching it intently, but I I don't even think I finished it. Was the problem? Oof, that movie's amazing. It was just I'm just I don't like that type of like tension like tension during it. I, I could see that. Is that 3S or 4S? That is 6S, Cameron. So, uh, oh, I, I don't want to spoil. It. I don't. I mean, we're deep into this this show already, so the people who aren't, you know, really invested in this anyway, uh, won't won't be here. But uh, I did also <laughs> buy. It's not here yet. It won't be in here before the event. But I bought a new servo for the TRX 4000 and uh, new motor options. Um, I'll just say that the new servo, uh, is over 2000 ounce inches. <laughs> it's going to need to be. <laughs> so 2000. over 2000 ounce inches. God, that's crazy. Having to double check though, if it can handle success or if I'm gonna have to get like a 20 amp external BEC just for, you. so we'll see. What's so a 30,000 milliamp battery go for these days? $520. 514, I think, actually. But yeah, it's like 520. 514, 520. Unreasonable. Unreasonable. But it's yeah, such an unreasonable of... truck in the first place that it seemed like it was the great decision. It All of your decisions seem like good ones on paper. But <laughs> I don't know, man. Could that battery start your gladiator in a heartbeat in a heartbeat um i actually got a jump box from them as well which has like uh less i mean i think it's got maybe a tenth of the battery starting ability that this does <laughs> this could start a diesel <laughs> this could start a big rig <laughs> yeah it could start the uh hadron collider <laughs> right <laughs> Um, Adam, yeah, I'm going to do styrene videos every once in a while. I've got sort of like a, a getting started in styrene, uh, construction yeah, video. You do you go but back it's shot from this angle and you're like, hi, today no, we're it's going not to that one. <laughs> it's not that one. Is it? Yes. Is it, is it like in my old workshop? Yeah. With it's all super of, like, dark behind you janky. and you're like, hi, what's up? Today so, we're going to talk about styrene. These is it like, really? I got. I should update that video then. I maybe you made another one, but I specifically remember watching that before doing some styrene work several years ago, and just being like, "No way! This was." Gosh, that doesn't sound like me. Doesn't it though? <laughs> Let me just check my channel real quick. Yeah, I'm going to need you to do that. <laughs> 
styrene. That, Scratch mean. building with styrene. Let's just take a quick look at this here. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so old, there's a Viterra Ascender behind me. <laughs> uh, Holy cow. Yeah, see? I shot this in 4K. Jesus. God. Unbelievable. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you're like, 4, 4K? Yes. Lighting? Nah. Nah. <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> There's so many trucks behind me that I don't own anymore. Oh, yeah. We've played that. I mean, the oldest truck I think I own is the Ripper. I don't think I've had anything longer than that. And that was from 2017. 16. Oh, man. 17. No, 2017. That is nuts. That, uh, yes, Adam, now I understand why you'd like a new video. <laughs> right? I mean, not that, like, styrene technology has come a real long way, but... No. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> so it was me that turned you off styrene. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was Phantom Works saying that. It's funny. The, uh, but that, it's, a, it's an interesting point, just, like, doing some of those videos. They're, they're videos that we both know will not perform as well as like our more yeah. mainstream type videos, which is always a bit of a, it's like the videos that you know we both would enjoy doing the most sometimes are the ones that just don't perform. I really, really liked STL Sunday stuff, but yeah, if nobody watches it, it is not, it's not worth doing. It's nope. the amount of effort that it takes to do those things and the lack of growth that comes from it. It's just like, I've got to, you only have so much time. You can't just always do, I mean, I can do CAD on my own whenever I want, it's not, but I would have loved if that would have been something that people would have uh, latched onto more, but, and maybe uh, it was just my presenting style that it wasn't. Uh, no, it, no, it was a good show. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I learned a lot and I could probably go back and rewatch all of them and pick up a lot more stuff that would really help me in my designing. Um, cause I'm not, I'm very bad at thinking like that. Um, it's hard for me to, like, I can see it in my head, but it's hard for me to translate that. Well, with like the breaking, tools. breaking down into the simpler, yeah, like, the simpler steps just, and things like that. Even just watching you in sort of like time-lapse build that bumper on, uh, your build yesterday. Oh, yeah. Or today, um, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. That's how you, oh, okay. I get it now. So, um, which right one means. CZ getting back into RC after many years, just finished a Capra kit and still have the itch to build any recommendations on a more complex kit that will keep me more occupied for a long while. You think Cross I'm... RC. Ooh, maybe? No, yeah, no, keep them busy. I, frustrated is what you meant. Um, I'm thinking more like that truck over your right shoulder. Oh, like, a yeah. A, yeah. One me, of the, a, a one, you want to talk those one fourteenth scale builds, like they're very challenging. Not something I would have thought would have been nearly as fun as they actually were. Yeah, this thing I, was a blast to build. It's a pain, like so many steps. Like you, oh, so many tiny pieces on these newer ones. On Josh's build, there were like five pieces to put together. Right. I had the these snap type new version of Matt's level so three many. model. <laughs> Uh. Exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, if, if you, you go for one of the more modern trucks, they are definitely very complicated. If you Especially want something that's like the, like the build. MFC's. Yeah. Yeah. The build to like go and that's the part you really want to enjoy, man, I cannot recommend them enough. Yeah, they it was a it was a super fun build. And then like all the detailing and weathering that I did, uh, I think, you know, added a whole other level of complexity that I was pretty pleased with. I would definitely recommend definitely recommend it. Yeah. I think that that's uh that would be a good one. Yep. So, uh, you, y'all got me to buy a semi still in the box. <laughs> oh, build that sucker. Don't drive it. <laughs> yeah. Like that's not the point. Just build it. Never. I've, this thing's never left this shelf <laughs> until this weekend. Yes. And then it will go in a box. So, <laughs> 
Uh, SDL Matt, Sundays be- needed to uh, needed a Roz to his Frazier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesse was saying it would have worked if Nicole read comments. Oh man, but you couldn't get her to sit there for another show. Oh, and exactly. That is exactly it. Yeah, that would, and especially for that one, because I would have had to be like, all right, you've got to read these comments, but you have to give me genuine comments and then re- and then time to respond. And she'd be like, no, I'm not interested in that. I only want to be in here if I'm only here to roast you. Yeah, exactly. Um, Unibody Wheeler. Yes, those car commercials that I did the static models for are out there. They're for MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, which is a huge organization here. I don't know if you guys have that in the States. Okay. So they may actually even be using them down there. I don't know. Uh, Chances are they probably aren't. but um, we don't they see are... as many PSAs on TV as you guys do. Yeah, why is you, that? Well, Canada has a, a law that one out of so every so many commercial or however many minutes of commercials has to be a PSA. Yeah, um, you don't have that down there. We don't have nearly that. There will be some, but not nothing like Canadian TV. Um, gotcha. Okay. So yeah, it's way different. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's a PSA. Um, the concept of it is sort of like you're, you're very close, very tight in on these models that have been in a, in a well, you actually don't know it's a model. So imagine you're close in on like a Prius or whatever, and it's been in a car accident and it's like the window is smashed and the whole front end is crushed in and there's sirens and flashing lights and it's raining and you can hear voices and stuff and the camera's pulling out. And as it's pulling out, it reveals that it's actually a car inside an alcohol bottle or like a beer bottle or whatever. So it's sort of like the, it says it's about time. Everyone gets the message impaired driving kills, you know, it's a message in a bottle. So it's like a ship in a bottle. That's the connection they made there. Yes. So I did, I did design really commercial as well. So, you know, you didn't, didn't do anything. Was was I credited on that for my design work? No, you didn't do anything. I, you didn't do anything on those? I did. What'd you do? I did a child seat. <laughs> Was that, That's right. I forgot about that. I, I expect to be credited. I would like yeah. I would like that redacted and amended. Yeah. And whatever whatever the other words would be. Uh but uh yeah, they should be out there. I don't know if they're on YouTube. Let me see if I can find them. I think um, they were because you oh wait, no, you posted it on Facebook, didn't you? You shared uh, the school's post or something. Yeah, I shared. Yeah. Oh, they are on there. All right. Not a ton of views. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Do they have more or less than the budget bill? Far less. Oh, oh. far pump those, less. Pump those numbers up. It's rookie numbers. Yeah. They're, uh, they're the top three uploads. I'm going to put the link in the chat. There you go. So. App. There you go. Everybody can check them out. Yeah, th- yeah. That's uh... get those views up there for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, the, oh. Do you know what you just did to the comments of those that video? Oh no! <laughs> Everybody from my, if you're only watching on my channel, go to Matt's. Get those links. Leave some comments. I <laughs> leave want, nice. I want comments, gasket guys. related comments. Oh, I want. God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything about me in the comments. That's so many gasket comments. <laughs> what is what is their stance on gasketing before driving? And oh. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. I can feel it. So there's only one comment so far, so we'll know who it is, <laughs> we'll, you guys. We'll wake up in the morning. Now Matt is a professional. A- be professional. <laughs> Yeah, be professional. I am a professional. Uh, yeah, I do remember the <laughs> Nissan commercial using the, the <laughs> my view count. Joe. My viewer count did just drop down so that they could run over to yours. <laughs> get those links. I saw it immediately. Matt just said that's amazing. It. Or I mean, uh, Ben just caught that too. <laughs> Coming to grab them links. You got to scroll through the whole chat to find it. Amazing. Oh, I smoked one gasket and I robbed my grandmother and smashed her car. (laughs) 
They don't mad Mad Canada doesn't have a huge amount of subs either. They could really use some work could, on their yeah. website. I have a feeling though that these are going to win some awards because they're they're pretty they're pretty uh, um, impactful. Ah, yeah. Is the yeah. is the uh, PSA awards segment of the? It's big. Whatever the Canadian Emmys are. Oh, and there's no, 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 no. This is the worldwide. Oh. Worldwide. I want my I want my cut of the trophy. <laughs> It's just yeah, the, I just want one, I want one of the felt feet. You can have one twenty four. <laughs> one oh, I'll little, make you open scale. One little felt feet off the bottom of it. That's so great. <laughs> what uh, video is the gasket video? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to go check that out in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, uh, whoever runs that YouTube channel is going to be like, what is going on? What happened? <laughs> Flying gaskets. <laughs> Something happened here. We're going viral. We're going viral. 15 comments. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It looks like everyone is being nice. I haven't seen any comments. Com Maybe oh. they're like, sir, like they're moderated or something. Can they do that? <laughs> they could do that. Have to be approved. Yeah. Which wouldn't surprise me. Corey Peterson. <laughs> Gaskets kill. You know what? I'm reporting that comment. <laughs> no, I'm not. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh you're like, well, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> that's exactly it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Well, this was a great. Shall day. we wrap it up tonight? I have, yes. uh, I'm sleeping. I want to eat some chips. I have a number. What? I want to eat what? chips in bed. That's like a. That is an actual saying. Like that's. You know, like I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. Like, well, I know that saying. So that'd be fine. My maybe. wife wouldn't kick me out of bed for eating chips. She'd probably have a few. I don't. Even, I can't. I can't. It's late here. I was up late putting together the budget build video. I have things to finish installing here. That on the uh, the, the mock up the mock-up build and then i sort of got i got halfway through the 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 stuff with the pc so i've got to like reassemble that before i go to bed ah yes but then Can't i just have leave to, all these things sitting out i have to unload some items from the back of the gladiator because nicole <laughs> is taking it tomorrow the bag of spoons that you <laughs> that you fit in the in the back back yeah I got a 20 pack of spoons back there. So, you know, don't take any turns too aggressively. <laughs> you know, actually, because the, I don't know if we've ever talked about this on the show real quick, um, but the um, used car market is crazy up here. It is. It's spicy everywhere right now. It's I mean, crazy. They want to buy my Jeep right now. I, I owe... I still owe about, well, actually I won't, I won't talk about numbers, but I will make a profit of like $9,000 if I trade, if I sold it back to the dealership today. Yeah. I, I was like, so what else, what do you got on the lot that I nothing. might want? They actually do. Really? They've got, they've got a Rubicon four by E that's oh. already all the options. And I was kind of like, Rebecca's like, do what you want. I don't care. I was like, is that like, do what you want? I don't care. A uh, happy, do yeah. what you want. I don't care. Like, or is it a sad, do what you want? I don't care. Right. Exactly. So I'm going to gauge that, but because 30, 30 miles of full electric 
means I would basically never have to pay gas. Right. Because I don't go any further than that, ever. Exactly. I mean, I couldn't even drive to work and back, but, like... Really? It's more than 30 miles to work? It's just, yeah, just over. Dang. But, and that's the same thing for me, like, well, it even before, like, six months ago, the dealership was calling and being like, you want to, uh, you want to sell that gladiator back? I'm like, no, not really. Like they told me the number and I was just like, that is more than I paid new. Like, yeah. Cause I had got it like right at the end of employee pricing and deals on, on interest rates and all that. I was just like, Oh, hmm. it's like, I, I can't for the life of me, I can't figure out how they're going to make money by giving me so much of it. They're just, they're selling for crazy numbers. Have you seen what I, like just prices on used cars are? Well, yeah, I was looking at, at Wranglers. Cause I was like, ah, eh, this has gotta be a scam. Where's the scam here? And then I went to auto trader and they're like, they're all like above sticker, which is insane. Right. Who's like, are people buying them? Yep. Yep. That's nuts. It's, I mean, it's wild. I've got friends should who are I, in I the auto it? industry. I, yeah. Yes, you should. If they're get well, only if they're not doing crazy markups on the four by E. Which they don't seem to be. It seems to be. It could like, be because that that is not everybody is looking for an electric option. Not everybody is looking for that, and I think they actually have a glut of them, which is why it might be a good opportunity to get one. Because then and I can get, and I don't have to order it because it's sitting on the lot. What color? It's is exactly that? the same. Stingray. <sighs> Dang it. Which, and it's actually the colored top, too, and the colored fenders, which I usually wouldn't go for. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> I, like, I like the contrasting. I like the contrasting fenders. The, the, the uh, roof I could, I could do with the color match on it's, that. It's just so much nicer to be it when you're cleaning them. <laughs> like, the paint <laughs> is so much easier to clean than the textured black. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Yeah. I mean... And I mean, I, I kind of, it's, it's not a lot of range for the electric portion of it, but it is a start. Yeah. I mean, and, well, and if, if it fits within most of your trips, then it's a pretty decent yeah. deal for you. you know. Barnyard just said, do it. I work in the car business. This isn't going to last forever. Right. Yep. Okay. Maybe I will. I'm certainly not buying a Bronco. I've I've firmly decided on that. I, have you seen them in person yet? Yeah. They're really big. They're big. Really big. Way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Um, Saw it up next to a Wrangler and I was like, oh no. Yeah, I just... I mean... Uh, I, yeah, it's a PHEV. It's not a, a full electric. Right. It's a hybrid. Still get the uh, four-cylinder turbo. Yep. Which, not a bad driving motor in the Wranglers anyway. No, it's not. It's a little bit noisier. Um, yeah, it's a Jeep. I mean, you should drive my 2009 with that 3.8 in it. All the yeah. noise, no reaction. Low yeah. RPMs, high RPMs, difference in Doesn't noise, matter. no difference in power. <laughs> that minivan motor just... Bah! <laughs> But lifetime warranty. Yeah, true. So. That's the thing. I have the extended warranty on this thing and everything. It's like, I don't need to trade it in, but if they're going to give me that much, like it's sort of a zero sum game. I get into a, a slightly better. Yeah, newer. For me, and right. newer. I don't know. I'll think about it overnight. Yep. Convince me in the chat. <laughs> We're electric vehicle people. Hey, that's true. I mean, I'm pretty used to the concept of it. So, have you checked the mad video comment number yet? Oh, God. <laughs> Don't drink and drive or lick gaskets. People are going to be like, they're going to be so confused. <laughs> Matt definitely didn't send me here. I definitely found this on my own. Such a great and impactful thing. Excuse me, I was told this is where I will find 
<laughs> mad, g- mad against drunk gasketing. Oh God, you guys are jerks. This is bad. They're gonna be like, "Did you tell people that you did these?" Be like, <laughs> I smoked a gadget gasket watching this one. That's not even funny. <laughs> That's not funny because these are about impaired driving, you ding dongs. <laughs> but it could sound like a euphemism. Like <laughs> use Josh use Josh's battery if Matt's Jeep dies. <laughs> we can double your range here. <laughs> it's true. Oh <laughs> nine thousand right. likes and Matt gets a new Jeep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all it takes? Yeah. Get the like, guys. Yeah. If you're still here, waiting for the it's Super like Forester it. Wilderness. Oh, that's that like lifted up Super Forester. I saw that on uh, Doug DeMiro's recent video. Oh it's yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Oh, checkered pass. What will it do to the electric bill of your home? Well, it costs about seven dollars to charge a Tesla to full, and that's with full a much electric. larger battery. With a huge ass battery. That gets you like 420 miles. So how, how many probably miles like are you doing a week? <laughs> maybe, maybe 40. A week? Yeah, I don't drive. Is that combined any- for your household? Combined? I'm the only one who drives. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's it does not get used very often right now. It'll get used more once I start going back to work. I bet I'm doing... Close to 10 times that. Oh, I don't doubt it. You <laughs> you live in America. Right. Where everything is far away. Yes. Everything I need, I can walk down the street to. Other than a hobby I shop. Live, I live in the downtown core. In, in so. the downtown. Right. I know. Nicole would love that. She would be in heaven. Nate, why do you think I should wait on the 4xe? Is it because it's the first model year and there's always weirdo things that go wrong with first gens that can always be a thing but it's not like it's their first hybrid either no that's true or the the first hybrid for a long time (laughs) right (laughs) we've made a new thing it's called a jeep yeah (laughs) i was having this discussion with my brother the other day he's like the jeep jeep engineer is the most oxymoron shit i've ever heard he's like like, they just copy and paste and just yeah. change some like, things slightly. Like, it's like a it's like a challenge to do as little as possible to be like it's new. See this new. It's a new <laughs> Jeep. Well, with these doors, there's a little tiny lip underneath yeah, see, the armrest so you can go, lift it off. <laughs> yeah, it, go, it goes up. See? The indent up uh, and then here. <laughs> Does Josh want a four by E? No, because I'm only interested in gladiators now. I'm a gladiator only type person at this moment. <laughs> but also, I Nicole actually really likes the four by E. So I have the only thing I'm not keen on is the blue accents. They look a little not great with, but not with all the colors. No, the sting with sting gray, gray they, they look good. good. With the the black, blue. it looks good. And the blue. Does it come in blue? Yeah. Maybe in America. I don't think we get a blue one here. Oh, really? One moment. Uh, this was us saying, you know, we gotta, we're got we going to wrap this up. Yes. We're all done. We're done. Uh, build and price. Unlimited <laughs> Rubicon. Paying cash for this sucker. We do not get we do not get blue. We get black. We get bright white. We get billet. We billet. get stingray. We get granite. Uh, red, yellow, or I think they call it hella yellow. <laughs> and gecko. We get gecko pearl. What is gecko? Is it green? Obviously. Yeah, it's like mojito, but lighter. Oh, interesting. Um, Islander, I was just double checking because I was pretty sure. Rubicon 392. Yeah. Yeah. That's Isn't nice, it? too. 
Is it only, I guess you just have to go into Rubicon. I don't, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to order one. You can also, there's a 35 inch tire option now on the Rubicon. Well, isn't it like they, a had whole, to they did like the a Bronco. what the package that just is one up from anything a Bronco has and its highest. Yep. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's what I. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> how about it's this? Called the oh, yeah edition. <laughs> how about that edition? Uh, how about um, and I Dumpster guess. Brown. You can't get it in Dumpster Brown. It comes in Sarge if you want a greenish brown. I guess I don't even see. Oops. Blue accents, like on the TRX-6. TRX-6? No, there's no blue accents on the TRX-6. There's red. I don't even Don't see tell it. Josh to look it's at Starwood Motors. Oh, well. Anyway, it's something that I've been considering. Yeah. Especially if they're going to give me all that money. I know. That's... You should do it. I don't care. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> can you re send that in a text so that I can read it with every inflection that I feel is the most. Do important. whatever you want. Right. <laughs> and I don't care. Right. Attach an emoji with it. Cause that could tell you a lot. <laughs> exactly. It could tell you a lot. <laughs> All right. That's it. We're done. Thanks everybody. Uh, thanks to the following. Quack RC, Dark Horse Garage, Slow Don, Psycho 13 Garage, Robbie Bobster, Lone Star RC Gun uh, Guy, uh, John Roberts RC 1.6, BT949 Designs, Rogue Creations, Grim Jerk, Crawler Baller, and Gunner Nissen. Thank you to Mike Mancherico, Psycho 13 Garage, Quack RC, Gunner Nissen, John Roberts RC, BT Gunner Nissen, Dale C, Scott O'Blander, 949 Designs, Grim Jerk, and Lone Star RC guy. Much appreciated. Thank you, guys. We will see you. I won't be on live on Friday because I've I'll be headed to the event. Um, so when will I see you? I'll see you Wednesday. either for a track Tuesday. update on the TRX four thousand beforehand, or Tuesday. Yeah, and so. I'll uh, I'll see you guys. Maybe I'll do something on the weekend. I don't know. We'll have to see how the weekend goes. Um, but I've definitely got a video coming out tomorrow. So watch for that. There you go. Sounds Have good. a great weekend, everybody. Thank, thank you to everybody. Oh, Gray Matter Fab snuck one in there at the end. Thank you, sir. Hey. Someone like my gasmic comment on Mallory. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Take care, everybody. Love you. Bye. <laughs>